<clears throat> Did you hear we had a tsunami this morning? How big was it? Bigger than your mom. How big were the waves? Did they... Uh, they didn't say. We were under a tsunami advisory. Because it was an earthquake in Japan or something? There was a volcano that erupted uh. at Tonga in the South Pacific. So it went from, like, the tsunami warnings were New Zealand to Washington State. Dang. It wasn't warnings here. We were advisories. Yeah. So it was two. To, it was a two to four foot wave. By the time it hit here, it was a four foot wave down in those regions. But it didn't really materialize here. But it's it was crazy how waves can travel that far. <laughs> it's crazy. Unbelievable. Yeah. And the speed at which it can travel, because that had happened at I think nine o'clock the prior night our time, and then it was supposed to by seven o'clock be here. So that's like that's fast, man. Crazy. Just Anyways, hey, welcome back to our stupid right hey. of Corbin. <laughs> oh, you think there's a girl out there named Sue who has a last name Nami? Paging Miss Nami, Miss Sue Nami? I'm Rick. My name's Hugh Janus. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that CNN thing? Hmm. It was the New Year's Eve Oh, they kept, yeah, because they called out. Yeah, <laughs> they're names. like, who the heck, who's putting these on here? They're fake names. Yeah, they were probably uh, young people wanting to troll, and it's hilarious. <laughs> uh, anyways, today we got a video, Indian Army, uh, uh, commando training. Try hand. Uh, say this. And Goraka training. Uh, this is, uh, what yeah. is that? I don't know. I, I'm hoping they'll explain in the video, but I think it's more of like the, an intense training uh, that they that this regiment. By the for. way, what are we've probably asked this question once before, got the answer, and I've forgotten. But we know the branches of the military here in the United States. Mm -hmm. What are the branches of the military in? I'd, I'd imagine Indian. they're similar. I, bet I know we have Indian Army. I know we have Indian Air Force. I know we have Indian Navy. I'm assuming. But do they have a Coast Guard and do they have like a Marine Corps? I don't know Marine Corps. That might be a branch. A branch specialty of Army. You guys can let us know, but I'm pretty sure they have a Coast Guard. Okay. As well. All right. Um, but my dad, he's coasty. 30 years. Here we go. Hold on. In the eyes of the instructors, the crime is severe. The strength of any team is decided by its weakest link. The weakest link is the one just say sorry mistakes. And for this, there can only be one punishment like a commander school. The dreaded Kunina. This is one dragon malak. If you even go close to it, you can smell the unwanted odor, Ew. which you would not like to even smell. Ugh. It smells gross. Only now you can have some taste of Indian coffee. It is very smelly. It's now everyone's nightmare, and there's a purpose behind this. In commando operations, an error by one can mean death for all. Super instructor, the sole purpose of this punishment is to ensure that no commando ever forgets his weapon. Oh. None of his men ah. nothing better than the gut wrenching file and so the smells and tastes of the Kuminala, making sure nobody repeats in it. such a mistake. 3.30 p.m. The sun 
finally starts to set and take off. so gross. But the next 31 days are going to be far more excruciating. The tests get tougher. The stakes get higher. Teamwork and military precision will define who makes it in the end. So how do they ready themselves for the storm that lies ahead? I would say that the wrong family is that I have to take six hours of sleep. First of all, we will take care of it. Look at that. There is a myth that is made in his mind. This is a myth that is made in his mind. Every night, for the first two weeks at commando school, the commandos live in an extreme state of uncertainty. The only thing that they are certain of is that they are going to get no sleep by the form of physical pain coming their way. It's a mystery. This meeting initially starts from 4 o'clock when the course is starting. And as the pace of the course is increasing, this meeting starts from 9 o'clock, then 2 o'clock, then 1 o'clock. Push him to the point of exhaustion. So if the commandos are meeting at 1.30, then 6 o'clock. And they keep pushing him. It's obviously breaking that cycle. They might inherit that on the field. दो हफ्ते हम लोग लेते हैं उसके फिजिकल फिटनेस बिल्डअप करने के लिए और जो फिजिकल फिटनेस का का जो ग्राफ है वो बहुत ही स्टीप है। वो दो हफ्ते में हम लोग बिल्कुल उसको एक्सट्रीम में ले जाते हैं। तो पूरी बैलेंस का साइकिल हमने उसके ऊपर पूरी ब्रेक कर दी। जब उसको सोना चाहिए था � Probably where he should go, he should be able to clutch it. Where he should go. Breakfast timing is 4 or 3 o'clock. Actually, there is no breakfast. But here we are forced to say, okay, it's 3 o'clock for breakfast. Or at night at 12 o'clock, at night at 12 o'clock, at midnight. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Over the first two weeks of commando school, the instructors make nights melt into each other. focus is an extreme sleep deprivation so that these young soldiers can advance to the next stage of becoming lethal commandos. The dizzy first two weeks of commando school come to an end. Breaking down their body clocks has left the commandos with a fuzzy brain, blurry vision and a complete sense of disorientation. But according to the instructors, this is the best time to test their skills in the field. Yep. Uh, I have that you will not know how strong you are until and unless being strong is the only option left for you. Mm -hmm. We create a similar kind of situation over here. Oh, well, I could have kept watching yeah, that for I, another half hour. I'm sure it's like a whole series that yeah. they, they just broken up. Yeah, yeah. It's it, it, from what I've, I can tell. Obviously, it's very similar to uh, I'd say every branch that we have here that has some version of it. Yeah, it's very common. Obviously, in the military, you're gonna break somebody down to the point of exhaustion and then keep breaking them. Yep. Because obviously, they have to be prepared for that. And uh, sleep deprivation sleep is deprivation, one of the big ones. Yep. Um, food deprivation. I, all this, all this stuff to push you to the breaking point to see how you're going to act when this actually might happen yeah, on the field. There was a guy I worked with at a restaurant. He was a, uh, one of the cooks in his 20s. This was a long time ago, but he was freaking ripped, maniac, just incredible shape. Mm -hmm. Who went in for uh, Navy SEAL training? Yeah, and came out had a had a break for like a couple days before he went back. And he went in, you know, pumped up, going to be a SEAL, you know, proud, going to kick your ass. When he came back in the, in the middle of what he was going through, he had a couple days, and we asked him how he was doing. He was very humble and did not know if he was going to make it through. <laughs> and said, I, I, it's nothing, I didn't expect it to, <laughs> to be what it is. It's not fun. No, <laughs> it, it, it's not. And it is, sleep deprivation is one of the primary things, which is why I know I... As much as I'd love to be in the military, sleep deprivation, I, I know how well I don't function when I'm sleep deprived. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. 
That's off, but yeah, it was a really interesting documentary. I could watch the entire thing. I could have yeah. kept, kept going to see um, their whole, I'm guessing it goes through their whole progression during the, the training. But yeah. It's really interesting, though. And the other thing that they, Ugh, I, they, I'm sure they do, they didn't talk about it, but one of the things I know that SEALs do, and I'm sure that they do it, I say SEALs because that's the one I, I'm the most familiar with because I just love SEALs and I've listened to like, podcasts oh, oh, oh. and books, I've read books, I've watched documentaries, I've I've throughout my life of times where I've embraced some of the physical aspects of their training. And I, I do know that the other thing that they do in SEALs is the people, sometimes somebody who does something exactly right will get punished. And they'll quit because they'll say it wasn't fair and that's exactly the point. Yeah. They'll take them through it and say, if you think going to war, if you're gonna have this thing in your mind of, I get discouraged because that wasn't fair. You're dead. You will not survive in war because you're going to face situations where you should have had air support. Your weapon should have worked. They should have followed on the right-hand side and done what you commanded them to do. They shouldn't have been over there. Your gun shouldn't have jammed. You did everything right and everything went wrong. Are you still going to be able to keep moving forward? There, there. We've talked about different breed of human being. The and military. Uh, that swamp thing was absolutely oh. disgusting. <laughs> That that would be I my just, that would be my breaking. I love mud, but the fact that they were in something that was a, like a sewagey nasty, and they had to put it in their mouth. Oh yeah, I would be out at that point. Like I could probably deal with a lot of the other stuff. Again, I could function on very little sleep, but like when you start getting to stuff that's just gonna make me like I can't do it. Like if, if if training was fear factor. Well, it depends on the fear, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> A lot of that I can't do. Really gross as yeah. Me. Anyways, yeah, great video. Let us know more uh, videos similar to this, other military style videos of any branch or stuff like that we can react to down below. Just